bandits have been disturbing the peace and tranquility of this country for a while now. The bandits are killing, abducting, raping and destroying properties in many parts of the country, most especially in the north. Kidnapping of students was not rampant like this before, but it now, it's now happens all time and it's becoming a new normal. The bandits have been perpetrating so many crimes for a long time now, but just like the popular saying that every day is for the thief, a day is for the owner. A vigilante group discovered the hideouts of some bandits who kept some people hostage and demanded for ransom from their families. The vigilante group discovered where they were hiding in the forest and they took a smart move which made it possible for them to kill and capture many of them. The old story started when bandits raided Gulu town a few days ago. They destroyed properties and abducted several persons and took them into the bush. They kept them as hostages and sent word to their family that they would kill them unless they bring them money without informing the authority. The bandits gave them a specific location where they would drop the money and the victims' relatives followed the instructions so as to get their families back without being hurt or armed. On Sunday night, they went to the location that were given to drop the money and to get their relatives back. But on getting there, the bandits reportedly told some of them to return to the town to buy them some foodstuff or edible items. They heeded to the instruction, but when they were on their way, they ran into local vigilante group into which challenged them where they were coming from in the forest. They opened up to the vigilante and explained their ordeal to them. The vigilante group quickly mobilized a team and told the victims' relatives to lead them to the hideouts in order to attack them on our way. According to reports on Linda Ikeji, when the vigilante got to the hideouts, they exchanged gunfire with the bandits, which lasted very long, but the vigilante overpowered the bandits because they were not prepared. <laughs> mm. Well, at least nine of the bandits died from the gunshots, while seven of them were arrested and handed over to the police special tax force operation zuma in ebo this is a commendable and smart move by the vigilante they were able to rescue the hostages and also provided a vital point that they are very proficient and they could undo the bandits if only they know their hideouts in the bush <laughs> mm. wow this is interesting very young boys, government should create employment opportunity for people to avert this problem. Launch operation feed the nation. Hmm. Which government? So if things have not uh if things are not good for you, can you become a killer? Check their background, they are not from good home. No training. Why handing them over to the police instead of taking care of them? Hmm. That is that is much. I thought as much they will all be released. That is the end thing now. That is the end thing. A highly commendable effort, honestly. They should be wasted immediately. They've caused pain and anguish, but the useless government will rather prefer to leave them and go after taxpayers. If this happened in Yoruba land, the police will obtain all the vigilantes. They will detain all the vigilantes and charge them for murder, just the way they are see, they are, they are charging the OPC. OPC members are under the Wakili to them. They said it was up when it happened. They asked to, that uh, when the OPC arrested Wakili, that Wakili has got burnt. But nobody has been able to arrest or help us find out who the people that went to Ibo's house that got his uh, that made the house to go get bonds. Nobody. You see how you know when I was just hearing when everybody when it came yesterday we heard that the 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 court has already remanded. Wakili and his men and charged them for murder. I was like, like seriously. But today again, we just hear that uh, oh, the APC members too. So they've arraigned them. They they've charged them for murder. You see, you see how police see how they behave. And when people begin to complain now, you 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 think that they are just complaining for nothing. Whoever refused to let his mother sleep, he will not sleep as well. A child who says his mother will not sleep, that child also will never have rest of mind. They are peaceful and law abiding full and bandits in the other. Why handing them over to the police therefore delete all of them. Handing them over 
is energizing them for regrouping. See bandit to small boys, Nigeria Army. Why? Nice work, but the arrested criminals would have been killed. You see that uh, that's another thing. If the government is going to be doing the right thing now, nobody will be afraid. But by the time they release them now, the vigilantes and even the abductors, they might know them and, you know, they might still go after them. People, should, people must watch or look at this thing holistically and watch it to the logical conclusion before they will release them. They might twist everything. Or somebody say if it happened in Yoruba land, of course, because there's an evidence that, uh, you know, suggests that or back that up. Nice work, but the arrested criminals would have been deleted. Sorry, you handing them Nigeria to Nigerian police. Sorry. This simply exposes the negligence or incompetence of our security operatives, both the military and police. God help Nigerian citizens. That is if the authorities will allow the rule of law to take place as they have handed the so-called bandits to the police. Shegumi, take the vigilante to the bandit hideout, not asking for ransom <laughs> on their behalf. This country, ah. The integrity has gone, especially the government, especially the president. There's no integrity whatsoever. Oh my goodness! Ah, see how APC see, see the way they just they are just disgracing themselves. Do you have moral justification to to attack a, or to criticize the PDP after us? Because if you have credit, if you have integrity, most of the bad people or bad eggs in PDP, you wouldn't have even accepted them because you believe that they, when they talk about a Politics is a number of game or one thing, one thing. It's a game of number. At the end of the day, you bring those who are you and who are you are not supposed to bring together with you. You bring them and they begin to cause problem. And you think by having many people, that is when you think you have arrived. No, oh, it's better you have a three or five people, just few people, and you know you know have a you have a quality people than to just have everybody. At the end of the day, they will mess you up. Well, I don't even know whether they themselves they even have a integrity before or they have a good. Uh, uh, agenda for this country if not if really they are they have that integrity they always claim they will not even take all manner of people of course they themselves they are not even good it takes a, a thief to accept thieves as well so the fear people's fear now is that i hope they will not be released because these people hmm, the government cannot be trusted and it's very very unfortunate that you cannot at least to a very large extent have trust in the government and the government you know we always blame the police too but see the way the government is responding to most of these issues see the way they are responding to that and you expect the people to to trust you no it's not going to happen see the the case in in the southwest it would have been a different board game entirely they would have detained them yes just like somebody said they would have detained them they would have detained the the vigilante if it happened in the uh, southwest and nobody's going to speak for them so guys, let's hear your opinion on this.